I promised the people that a 1930s gangster would call FYE. And oh, damn it, he's going to. That makes me hard. <laughs> For the 30s gangster? Okay. So, uh, we we have called FYE in the Aiken Mall. FYE in the Augusta Mall has not felt my wrath yet. Thanks for calling FYE. We're backstage passing room saying 10%. Speaking of hospitality. Yeah, is there a manager around? Oh, yes, ma'am. Hold on, sir. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Samuel Brown, sweetheart, and I'm in the market for some phonograph records, you understand? I want all the hits of Glenn Miller, Al Jolson, and Johnny Mercer. Now, what do you have for me, I ask you? What do you have? For records? Yes, uh, phonograph records, please. We don't sell them. Uh, what do you have down there? We have CDs and DVDs. Oh, jeez, what kind of a joint don't carry the latest and greatest in phonograph records? Tell me, do I got to personally get RCA Victor on the horn and have him deliver you a smatter of platters, a stack of tracks? That was weird. <laughs> what, what is she, she said that was weird. <laughs> Before yeah. she even hangs yeah. up, she's already commenting on the phone call. <laughs> yes, indeed it was. That was weird, lady. <laughs> she's like turns to her employees and goes, "Somebody from the past just called An me." Associate of Edward G. Robinson called. <laughs> I see, asked her. See, well, it was when you got to the smatter of platters and the stack of tracks that she was totally lost. <laughs> that, and I also told her that I needed to get RCA Victor on the horn, <laughs> and she's probably going, "Who the fuck is RCA Victor, and what's a horn?" <laughs> I'm not uh, accustomed to all this '30s lingo. I'm hanging up now. <laughs>